hey guys what's up welcome back to our techies and this is I iPad 2 in my hand uh, it's, uh, so the problem is uh, here it's uh, uh, the iPad is disabled connect to iTunes so today uh, in this video I will gonna show you how to fix that problem iPad is disabled so and basically this problem happened due to uh, putting the wrong passwords every time that's why so now let me show it to you uh, how to fix it so now uh, let me go through my computer so let me connect it to my computer I'm, I'm now in my computer now let me open the iTunes And connect this uh, data cable with it. Connect this data cable into the computer. Okay. Now press the home key, the home button, and the power button until see a Apple logo appears on it. Press it. Okay, until a Apple logo appears on it. Okay, now remove the uh, pressing power key, only press the home key. Okay, here it's I and iTunes mode. So now it's in iTunes mode. So now in the computer it has detected default or you know, try again. Okay, here you will now in computer you will get uh, this. There is a problem with iPad request to be updated, restore. So click on uh, restore. So restore, restore and update iOS 3 bug fixes. Okay, iOS 3.2. Agree. So now here is the file is downloaded for ipad here the file is now downloading it's a 1.33 gigs of file so it's downloading let's skip this video now after uh, complete i will show you uh, how to fix that okay so now again uh, the file is downloaded here so now let me uh, turn off this uh, by holding the power key 
and the home button okay hold it okay now it's off when apple logo appears remove the power button remove holding the power button okay now remove I remove the holding power button and only holding the home button this is iTunes mode so here on the screen it will appear okay here is a, there is a problem with iPad now let me restore uh, restore it yeah. restore and update I already downloaded the software so so it only extracting the software and the, all the process is running on now checking the software files yeah. Okay, the extraction of software is uh, completed. Preparing iPad for restore. So, let me check it. Okay, waiting for iPod here. All right, it's completely blank now, and it's now restoring. So, Apple mobile device driver. So here it's now restoring the whole system software. It's 9.3.2, the latest version. Okay, verifying iPad software restoring iPad software. Now it's started as you can see. It's now started here. Ah, so Here it's now 50% completed, but in the screen it's not.
now half of the iPad software is now restored So now it's again uh, verifying the iPads restore. So it's now most probably uh, 80, uh, 95, sorry, 85 percent is completed. So let's check. Okay, now it's completed. So now it's booting up. This is the first boot after the flashing of iPad firmware. So let's check it. Okay. Now it's formatting uh, the iPad, all the storage or everything. So it's now formatting whole system. So it's now completed. So here in the screen, uh, welcome to your new iPad. But on the iPad, it's now uh, it's not. It's only showing Apple logo and. Uh, that's most probably 90% completed but in the screen we come to new iPad here the screen so let's continue it's not doing anything okay here is the on the screen it comes up it's 12.7 uh, uh, gigs of free uh, now it's booting up but on the computer it's already detected it's our techies iPad so the computer it's already detected okay now it's getting on here yeah, choose network sorry cancel not set up continue start over cancel so now it's completed so now it's it's completed so in that way you can easily uh, restore your ipad disabled problem so if you like this video click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video